Hello everybody. Welcome to Winter's Kitchen. I'm Allie. And I'm Brittany. And today we're going to be showing you a little bit about the products that we have in front of us. So we just made these daiquiris in this unit in front of me here and I'm going to go ahead and pour these for us to enjoy because we made them a little bit before you joined us, but we have not had a chance to test these out yet. Right. Um, they actually required very few ingredients and were super <coughs> easy to make. Allie's going to go ahead and explain that a little bit later on how we did that. But like she said, we wanted to try it with you guys today. We made this with strawberries and rum. Those are the base of the... Yeah. So let's try daiquiri. these out. So cheers, cheers to a new year and to yes, winter. to winter. Those are really good. Whoa. <clears throat> I can literally taste how fresh the strawberries are. And you can't even taste the alcohol. These are really good. That consistency. Mm. So, <clears throat> so, so good. Like I had said, we created the, these daiquiris in front of us that we just enjoyed using the ICM 201 SB right here. This is the upright ice cream maker that we feature. And in front of Brittany, we have the ICM 200 LS ice cream maker, which in just a little bit, we're going to show you step by step how to make another delicious frozen treat with this unit. Which, <coughs> if you guys didn't notice what's going on here, we have a strawberry themed going on here. We decided to go with the strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> and like she said, a little bit later, we're going to make another strawberry dessert. We created <coughs> these recipes with our recipe provided by Winter. You'll get a copy of the recipe book with your user manual, or if anybody at home wants to check out the recipes we have here, you can go. They are on our website. If you go to the product page, there's a couple different tabs. Click on the user manual tab. Um, you should see a link to the recipes to be able to pull it up in a new tab, download it, print it, put it in a recipe book at home, decorate it, do whatever you want with it. Um, and be able to access them easily. So we do provide those for you upon purchase as well. You can contact us if you need help finding them. We're happy to help you out. Right, and contains <coughs> tons and tons of recipes for different things that you can create with our winter products here in front of us. Um, Ali's gonna explain to you a little bit how we made these strawberry daiquiris. Cheers again. Cheers, we need, we need. Yes, <laughs> cheers. So, like oh, I yeah. had said previously, we use this unit to make the daiquiris that we're enjoying right now. Um, <clears throat> to start off, we took two pints of strawberries, pureed them. You can put them in a food processor, a blender. We don't recommend chopping them by hand because it makes it a little bit difficult to mix. So make sure you have a nice puree because that's going to give you the best results. With a little bit of water too. Yeah, Not we added a little bit of water. Strawberry, <clears throat> add a little bit of dash of water. That way you don't mess up your food processor or anything like that. Right. Um, just a little bit of water. You don't need a lot. We used, I believe, maybe half of a cup for our, um, our puree. Uh, that goes directly into the bowl. The rest of your ingredients, I think, I don't know if I mentioned, but you only have four. So the next two ingredients are like drier ingredients. <clears throat> You're going to add half a cup of sugar, which we do recommend using the super, super fine sugar, as fine as you can find. Right. Uh, it's going to give you the best blend. Uh, if you need to, you can use regular cane sugar. It's still going to give you good results, but the finer the sugar, the better the results. Uh, from there, you want to go ahead and add half a cup of lemon or lime juice into your mix, whichever you prefer. You will have a little bit of variance on the taste, depending on what you end up going with. And then from there, you want to go ahead and add in your alcohol. For this recipe, it is one and one third cups of rum. Uh, we used unflavored rum. That way you get the full flavor of the strawberries, which we really recommend because we use fresh strawberries. It tastes amazing. So fresh. So good. Right. Um, so if you want to make a kid-friendly ver version, <laughs> right. or a virgin version. Right. There you go. Virgin, <laughs> virgin. virgin. There it is. That's what I was trying to say. You can use the you can use water instead of rum for that, and it will still give you the same consistency without the alcohol. Right. Um, as a mom, I know what it's like. My daughter is really obsessed with the ice cream <clears> maker <throat> we have at home. Every time she sees mom making a delicious drink, she wants some too. So it's a good idea for everybody in the family, this recipe just with or without alcohol. Yeah, uh, the, the one that we made makes a full batch, which is about six servings. Uh, you saw we filled our cups, have still a lot left to go. Right. Um, you can cut it in half if you need to. It's really easy, you don't have to, you can just cut your ingredients in half or in thirds, less of a freezing time. You don't have, le you don't have to store it if you need to, um, if you don't wanna use the full mixture. Right, so here at Winter, we have <clears throat> tons and tons of products, um, different types. These two products, these ice cream makers, are considered a part of our lifestyle line of products. 
the <coughs> ICM 200 LS and the ICM 201 SB are the lifestyle products that we wanted to share with you guys today <coughs> on how to use. She explained <coughs> a little bit how to use this one, but the fun part about today and what I've been looking most forward to is I'm going to show you guys how to make some strawberry ice cream using the ICM 200 LS. We're going to go step by step. You're going to watch me put in all the ingredients and you're going to taste test it with us as well. Yes, we really wanted to show you how versatile these units can be and how many different things you can make. And the great thing about the ice cream recipe is very much like the daiquiri recipe. It's simple. You have the same amount of ingredients and honestly, they're almost the exact same ingredients. So right. from one to the other, very simple. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and turn it on. And so before you guys joined us here today, we went ahead and <coughs> pre-measured our ingredients just to make this uh, process a little bit easier for you guys. But really that's all it really does require <coughs> is just prepping your ingredients today. So we're gonna go ahead and begin. All it takes- We're gonna have a very good time today. A very good time, <laughs> right, because we're sticking to strawberries. So we pre-measured all the ingredients. Like we said before, this recipe is included in our recipe book, which you can find in the user manual. What we did today is because we wanted to speed up the process a little bit for you guys is, based on the recipe that we have in our recipe book, we went ahead and cut all the ingredients in half. So everything I'll be pouring in there will be exactly half of what we usually recommend. And that's just to speed up the process a little bit for you guys today. Yeah. So we will start with, we're gonna go ahead and pour in three fourths of heavy cream. If you're like me and you have a little bit of OCD, I kind of like to evenly prepare everything inside the bowl but the cool part about our unit is you can simply just toss everything in there and it's still going to get the same kind of results yeah your, the ice cream maker is made to mix everything together so you don't need to worry about pre-mixing your ingredients before you put it in just put them in separately it'll do the work for you right and then we're <laughs> going to go with one fourth of fine sugar like Ali mentioned earlier, when we created the daiquiris, the finer the better. <coughs> it just allows for better mixture when the product is mixing. So I'm just evenly applying it throughout this the bowl. It looks really good already. Then I have the one cup of pureed strawberries. <coughs> we also just mix the fresh strawberries with a little bit of water just to get that consistency. And so literally this is another four ingredient. The <coughs> only difference between the two is I'm using heavy cream and she's using some rum. So two different things <coughs> with just a little bit difference in ingredients. The last thing is gonna be some lemon juice. I use one tablespoon and a half, a little odd, but I promise you guys it's the key. So it does make a difference when you add the citrus. It really does. So it's as simple as that. I'm literally gonna put the top on, lock it in there. And then here, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the mode it needs <coughs> to be put in to make some ice cream. All you do is push the menu button. It will start to turn blue. There's a little square that's gonna be moving along with you as you push the button. Once it's on ice cream mode, that's the mode you need <coughs> to be on to get this going. And all you're gonna do is press start. Awesome. So nice. And as you guys can hear, it is officially <coughs> making some ice creams. You guys seen it for yourself. All I did was pour in the ingredients in there. I evenly spread them out throughout. Ali likes to sometimes just throw them in there. I'm lazy. Just throw, just throw it in. It'll do it for me. Either way, <laughs> it still works. Yes. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that since we are live, we are also taking questions. So we'll have a little segment a little bit later on where, where we will take some of your questions, answer them. We also want to go over a few frequently asked questions that we do get asked a lot. Right. So just go ahead and type into the chat box anything that you want us to answer. We are live right now. We can read your questions. So please keep on sending them. I can read them all. We can go back through them. Don't worry about timing. Um, yeah. So while that is mixing, we did want to tell you a little bit, a little bit about the ICM 200 LS. Uh, this unit is featured on Amazon right now, so you can get it pretty easily. Just type in, you know, winter ice cream maker. It should be one of the first one that pops up for you. If I'm not mistaken, there should be something, mm -hmm. a link connected to purchase the yes. two units that we have <coughs> here today. So somewhere under us, there should be a way to go ahead and purchase that. But once again, ICM 200 LS is what we're creating the ice cream with. Yes. And then the ICM 201 SB is what That's we what created the daiquiri, the daiquiri with. 
You guys, you've seen it. Simple ingredients, really easy to do. And Ali's going to explain a little bit more in depth about both mm -hmm. of the units yes. today. So the unit that we have in front of Brittany over here, the one that we're making the ice cream with is the ICM 200 LS. Um, it is a fully stainless steel exterior. Looks really nice on a countertop. It's very sleek. It's very easy to clean. I think it personally looks great. Um, another thing that we like to, uh, to feature is the fact that we have a timer screen. We have an LCD screen. Not a lot of other units have those. We forgot to adjust the timing. Oh yeah, that's the other thing we wanted to do today. So the other great thing is if you start a batch, you forget something, just push the pause button or don't even push the pause button. You can adjust the time. Uh, so since we did about half a batch of ingredients, we're gonna put the, um, the timer down to about 30 minutes. It may be done before that, but we're gonna you know, make it 30 minutes, that way you guys don't have to sit through a full, uh, <laughs> a full 60 minutes of it churning. Um, so uh, like we were saying, it was it's a nice stainless steel exterior. You have a, like a nice uh, LCD screen. The buttons are nice touch button or nice uh, hard buttons. Like it's not a touch screen. You're not worrying about, did I push it? Did I not push it? You can feel them. Um, it's also very easy to use. The fact that you have, you know, your basic power button. Everybody knows how to use a power button. I don't need to explain that. We all know what that's for. Um, the, <clears throat> this unit has three different modes. You have the ice cream mode, which is what we're in right now. What you're going to be using probably most of the time. Uh, this unit also features a mixing mode where you can just keep churning without, um, you know, without having it cool as well. If you need a little bit of extra mix at the end of it. Uh, it also features a cooling mode, so where if you don't, let's say you made a batch of ice cream and you know, let's say you made a party for kids and you want to have them come line up, serve themselves, it's really fun, just keep it nice and cool in there, you're right. not going to have to worry about it melting. I'm sure it'd be great if you had for like, you know, like Milan's parties. Right, right. Her ice cream party, we use this um, to make some fresh ice cream for the six of her friends and that cooling feature was so nice because you know holidays with kids. You get served a little, they don't always finish it. We had some more to come back to later on in time. And it was still a nice, nice consistency and very, very cold. Yeah, you don't have to worry about, you know, having to take it out, put it in the freezer, come take it back out, let it melt right. up. This is perfect. Uh, the other great thing is this unit also features a, 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 excuse me, a refill lid on the transparent lid itself. So that way uh, you have easy access to add things to the bowl. Right, which is one of my favorite features. Me and Ellie cook a little bit differently, but the way I like to work in the kitchen is I actually like to taste as I go. So um, when we are making the daiquiris and we've made this before, it's made it really easy. I kind of go based on the color and I kind of like mine to be a little bit red. I really like that strawberry flavor. I was able to add some puree as it was going and it turned the perfect red that I really like. So I love that feature. It makes it a lot um, of extra access for us to throw in ingredients if we've forgotten or wanted to add more along the way. Yeah. And another great thing, these uh, units have actually been featured in some pretty popular food and cooking right. magazines as, you know, top of the line ice cream makers. Um, a lot of what we've seen is them noting about how it creates a really rich parlor style ice cream texture right out of the, uh, right after the batch is done. Soft serve, it's, it looks good. We'll show you in a little bit when this is done, how beautiful it looks when it comes out. Right. So they did mention it is one of the best ice cream makers on the market. Um, it's been featured in many, many magazines, and not only can you get the parlor taste, you don't pay the parlor cost yes. as well. And you guys seen it, you guys can add your own natural ingredients. We're gonna go over and- And you don't have to leave your house. Right, exactly, in the comfort of your own home. You don't We're need gonna, pants. Right. No We're pants gonna, required. Exactly. We're gonna share a couple uh, other recipes besides the strawberry ones today, but we're gonna keep going in depth a little bit about the $200. Uh, yeah, so the other great, one of the best things about these units is the fact that they have a built-in compressor which requires no pre-freezing of the ingredients. Right, you know what? So I actually seen a question here where it says, Lexi said, I love winter, thank you Lexi. And she asked, do my ingredients need to be refrigerated beforehand? No, you can just, as you saw Brittany add before, we just took ingredients that were room temperature. It's a little bit warmer than room temperature in here even. Um, and there, nothing has really been frozen or nothing has been chilled. The unit is doing it all for us. Um, as you can hear, it's a little bit louder than a normal ice cream maker. That's going to be because it has the built-in compressor as well that's cooling everything for you. No ice, no pre-freezing, nothing. It does it all for you. Right. 
And then did you want to explain to them a little bit about the differences in the bowls today? Yes, yeah, so the Icea, this is the bowl for the, that comes, uh, can I have the other bowl as well? Yes. I'll go ahead and hold one for you and yes. you can show the differences. So the ice cream maker that we're using today for the ice cream is the 200 LS, which comes with the aluminum bowl as well. Um, it's a little bit deeper and a little bit less wide than the 201 SB bowl. The great thing is everything is really easily removable. <laughs> as you can see, if you don't have it, you know, at a weird angle, uh, the turn blade comes right off. Uh, this turn blade is BPA free plastic because we do like to be safe here. Right. And what I love as a mother about this unit is the churning blade is BPA free. And as a mother for my kitchen, I'm always trying to get my hands on as many as BPA products as I can. So this was also another plus for me into adding this into my kitchen. And speaking of being a mom, I'm sure, you know, you don't have time to sit and watch this thing for half an hour right. or 60 minutes. You got a toddler running around. Uh, the great thing about this is if like you did, like you saw earlier, we kind of forgot to set it to the right time. So we set it to 60 minutes. It probably would have been done within about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, this unit has a built-in motor protection function. So if the unit, or I'm sorry, if the recipe or the mixture gets a little bit too frozen, it gets a little bit too hard, the unit will actually stop completely so it doesn't do any further damage to it. And that way it'll let you know it's done. Yes. Uh, generally all the mixtures will freeze within about 30 to 60 minutes. Uh, if you have a full volume mixture, we would recommend setting it for about 60 minutes. Right. Uh, let it go as much as let it go all the way through. If you have about half of a recipe like we did here, I would say about 30 minutes. Right. So half of the recipe, half of the time, pretty much self-explanatory. Um, and another really cool thing about this is the pre-freezing allows us to get to have time for other things. and. If you had two at home and you wanted to have two at a different time, you can do both and come back and forth to each one Exactly. At home. And I like to clean while I cook, so this right. is perfect. Put everything in the bowl, clean up the rest of your ingredients. That way you can enjoy your ice cream, enjoy your daiquiri, whatever you're enjoying. No cleanup after, you did everything while it's working for you. Right. Uh, I do have the ICM 201 SB accessories a little over here as well. As you can see, this bowl is a little bit uh, flatter, a little bit wider mouth. The blade is a little bit different. Um, it's slightly shorter, still works just as great. It's just because the bowl is a little bit differently designed. BPA free as well though. Yes. Cannot forget. Thank you for reminding me on that. The, uh, this bowl actually is gonna be a higher quality stainless steel material that comes with the unit. And this, uh, the lid is a little bit wider as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and close away. Right. So with the accessories that comes with this unit, the one in front of me, the ICM 200 LS, comes with the standard plastic ice cream scooper it has that little button to go ahead and drop that ice cream a little bit easier but with the unit in front of Ali which is the ICM 201 SB you get that awesome scooper but you also get this scraper as well which makes it really easy to go in there and scrape out whatever it is you've got cooking up in there mm -hmm. I'll pass those to you thank you so another great thing about the ICM uh, the 201 SB is as you can probably see it's a little bit more uh, upright it's a great right. space saver if you don't have a lot of countertop space. It still looks really great. It's got the stainless steel exterior. It's still going to work the same as the other one as well. Um, it has the ice cream mode. It has the mixing mode. It has the cooling mode. It's got the timer as well. It has the motor protection function. You're getting everything that in this unit that you get in this unit, but you have it in a little bit different orientation. Right. So we went over a little bit about the units. If you guys have any questions, like we mentioned before, feel free to go ahead and ask us. And then before we get into the live questions you guys are asking now, I went ahead and went into Amazon's questions that previous customers or previous future buyers have asked us. And we're gonna answer a couple of questions for you guys today. So quiz me. Let's see. Let's see how well Ali knows winter. We'll see. So a customer had asked, do we need ice to create anything in the ice cream makers? No, so that's a great question. Um, as we kind of touched on earlier, both of these units and as well as all of our ice cream makers will come with a built-in compressor which freezes everything for you. You don't at all need to worry about having ice or having pre-frozen ingredients. Uh, to be honest, that's a, a, this way you get more ingredients, you get a better texture, you don't have to worry about doing any of the hard work. Yeah, really, that's what it comes down to is our units do the hard work. I've had previous ice cream makers where 
I was stuck doing a lot of the work and you have to like churn and right. it's like it's muscle you gotta have muscle I don't have that and I'm really lazy. who has time to do that <laughs> um I know I don't I don't know about you but I just love how this machine simply just requires us to provide it the ingredients and a little bit of power and it gets running mm -hmm. so no to answer your question you do not no need ice. ice no ice no ice no pre-freezing okay mm -hmm. and another question that was asked can the bowl and the mixing blade be put inside the dishwasher? No. So as much as we would love for it to be um, easy to wash as well, I mean, they are still pretty easy to wash. I mean, right, hand washing are. is not. I mean, they come off very easily. Just unfortunately, you can't put them in the dishwasher. We want to make sure everything stays in optimal condition. Uh, so we do recommend hand washing them. I mean, honestly, guys, it's really not that hard. It's a bowl, a churn blade. It Take a sponge, wipe it down. If you clean it up right after you make the batch, it shouldn't be stuck on. It's very easy to clean. Cheers. Cheers, we need. As you can see, Ali drinks <laughs> a lot faster than I am, but I, it You're is like half my good. size, it's okay. <laughs> it is too good. I do highly recommend these. And, and we have right. more. We have. That's for later. Many, many daiquiri recipes. We even have a pina colada recipe that you guys can check out. And frozen margaritas. If you yes. like margaritas as well, you can cut. You can have fun with those. Right. Um, that, like we said, that recipe book is on our website on the product page for all of the ice cream makers. Right. Just make sure you're on the user manual tab, and you should see a link to that. Right. Actually, I invite you guys to follow us on Instagram. I have here all of our social media. We have here our Instagram, our Facebook, and our YouTube. Follow us and keep up to date. We're gonna be working on some really cool recipes together, showing you guys in the future how to make different things. So just keep up to date, follow us on all social media, stay up to date with us. But yeah, we're gonna absolutely. continue with those questions. So somebody asked, how heavy are both of these machines? So I know these look a little bit different. That you're probably wondering how heavy are they? Um, they are about 24 pounds each, um, which is actually the standard for both of them. I know they look a little bit different, but they do weigh the same amount. Um, they are a little bit heavier than a standard ice cream maker, and that's just because you do have the built-in compressor as right. well. You have that convenience factor. Um, they're really not heavy though, 24, 25 pounds. I mean, if you're doing weights at the gym or doing dumbbells or something, you got this. <laughs> it's, it's not that bad. My really little bad old self can carry it. Yeah. You can carry it. <laughs> Okay, so coming into making different things, we're making ice cream and we are making some daiquiris. This question is about gelato and I don't know if we mentioned to you guys already, mm -hmm. this, these both ice cream makers make a lot more than daiquiris and ice cream. They make sorbet. You can make sorbet, you can make gelato, you can make frozen yogurt, you can make custard, you can make margaritas, uh, all kinds of different frozen treats. Um, which we have recipes for all of yes. them in our recipe book. We just highly encourage you guys to really check that out. So this question is relating to gelato. It is asking, does this unit need a different churning blade to make gelato aside from the two? No, so I believe the only difference in gelato and ice cream are gonna be the, uh, the cream ingredients. Uh, this unit is set to be able to churn any type of mixture. Uh, the newer version of the units have an additional dasher and the churn blades to help mix everything more. Um, you don't need any additional churn blades for this. This is kind of a one one size fits all. It'll do everything for you. Right, right, totally right. Okay. The other so thing, oh. those answered a lot of the ones that we found from you guys on Amazon. Now we're gonna go into the live questions. If you guys are watching live and you have another question you would like to ask, just go ahead and feel free to type it in the box. Okay. So, let's go. Somebody mentioned they're really curious about what the final product is going to look like, but let me just tell you what it's looking like now is it already looks looking really amazing. Good. It so, looks really good. I wish I could show you guys. Right. I mean, you see can. this. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> let's start from the top. I think we already went through that one. This one says from CB, hi, my grandkids love ice cream, but I want to switch it up a bit. Can I use your ice cream makers to make sorbets or gelato? Yeah, absolutely. Like we just went over uh, anything, any, honestly, a lot of things that you can think of while we're still working on getting recipes for everything out to you guys, uh, you definitely can make them in these units. Yes. So the answer is yes. Yes. They're very versatile. There's a lot of different things you can experiment with. Um, you know, we encourage you to try some different things. If you come up with something great, let us know. Maybe we can feature it in our recipe book. Right. And 
like I mentioned a little bit ago, follow us on social media and tag us. Get some recipes out of our recipe book. Get us, get yourself one of your winter products and tag us in all your things. We would love to share the recipes you guys create with us. Absolutely. We'd we like to try them. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. We like food here. We love food. We here. really love food. Okay, another question. What's the difference between the two units? So you guys seen hand in hand that the bowls are a little bit different in size. You guys can see just by looking them at them, they are very different in shape. Yes. But how we like to think of it is they weigh the same, they do the same thing. The way they're measured is a little bit different, but if you chop off four inches from that, you add it, add to, it to the, the height, top of that, get this one they're here. pretty much the same thing. And they both work equally as great. We are the first test tasters for our strawberry daiquiris. A1, and you guys are going to watch us test this strawberry Even without our bias, I still think they're pretty good. I know we're a little bit biased because we made them, but no, I still think so they're good. good. So good. I still think they're amazing. Okay, so let's go yeah. down a little bit. Somebody is asking, where can we purchase the unit? So Amazon, we highly recommend getting your units at Amazon. We sell um, all of our products as well as all of our ice cream makers on Amazon. Right. If you have Prime, it should be available for, I believe that you may, depending on your area, you may have a free shipping under Prime. Um, we always tend to recommend Amazon for the best pricing, the best shipping, the best uh, you know retailer customer service as right. well. We love Amazon. I'm sure you guys do too. That's why you guys are watching it with us here today. But besides from ice cream makers, we also have wine refrigerators. We have beverage refrigerators yes. and there's a new product we are working on and it's going to be coming out soon. And if you love desserts, you are going to love this product. We also have air conditioners some dehumidifiers right. we have uh you've mentioned the portable air conditioners wine coolers beverage refrigerators the i we have ice makers as well um a lot of great products that involve cooling agents uh cigar uh humidors as well yes. we have some that are even like a double a wine and a cigar on both sides um we have some really really nice uh wine enthusiast beverage refrigerators that hold you know 100 100 something bottles as well right uh, so we invite you to check out the rest of our products as well and so let's see what other what other questions we have so another question we have is can i make dairy free ice cream so you can we've also tried testing the units with some dairy alternatives such as almond milk uh like a soy milk as well um coconut milk yeah you can use coconut milk we as well coconut we've milk used milk coconut milk, milk as time. well right right so yes the answer is you are able to make the dairy free ice cream Yes, so dairy for ice cream. So if you're allergic, this, that's the greatest thing. One of the greatest things about this unit is that you're not gonna pay a premium price to go to the store and get a dairy free alternative if you are vegan or if you have uh, restrictions because you have health issues. You don't, oh um, you can make your own here and you don't have to worry, did someone actually make it dairy free? No, you know you did because you did it. Right, right. And it's, it's just a lot of fun to make. You guys can see it's churning here as we're doing our own thing and it's, a fun thing to have at the party if you have a yeah. party going on a small party and everybody wants a little bit of fresh dessert this is it this is it to make it a sleepover with your girlfriends or even a date night it's fun it's a really good activity as well yes. um, another great thing is these make great gifts uh, right. for example my mom is notoriously hard to shop for she's one of those who has everything and if she doesn't she can she will get whatever she wants so so it's hard to buy a gift for someone like that but she's always promote she has a lot of grandkids so she's always promoting healthy recipes Love it. Love things it. like that so i got this uh as a gift for her for her most recent birthday as something that she can do with the, her grandkids something that she can do to promote maybe some healthier desserts to them and an activity that she can do that's fun for both her and fun for them as well right and it's great all year long at winter winter we do not just stay in the winter we're all year long we eat ice cream all winter yes we really do and my daughter is an ice cream lover and this is something that we're constantly having to use in the kitchen it's one of our favorite appliances at home so i'm sure it will be one of your guys's another question we have here is what material is the bowl made of we went a little bit into that earlier but i'll let ali go a little yes. bit more in depth so the ICM 200 LS comes standard with the aluminum bowl. The ICM 201 SB comes with the stainless steel bowl. Uh, you do also have the option to purchase a stainless steel bowl if preferred um, for the ICM 200 LS right. as well. Uh, you can contact our customer support team 
and we can help you find where to get that. Um, additionally, if you have any questions, if you have any, just need someone to talk to, need someone to help you through this, we do have our customer support team available Monday through Friday. Uh, we're available from about 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Pacific time through phone, through chat, through email. Um, if, you're not, if you don't catch us in our on hours, just go ahead and send us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as we're back in the office. Um, you can also give us a call. Our phone number is 866-949-6837. We're happy to help you out over the phone as well during our, our business hours. If you need yes. any, any tips, any advice, uh, we'd be happy to help you out. Right. So I wanted to go ahead and read off a little bit of the recipes that we have here. To show you some different kind of things that you can make with this right. uh, this recipe book. We stuck with strawberry because it was nice and simple. Both one ingredient that we agreed on that we thought was fresh and would be really good for both an alcoholic yeah. beverage, which us adults really enjoy, and another type of dessert for the rest of the family. So if you want to explain to them a little bit where they can find the recipe book on our website yeah so as we had mentioned before if you go to our website which is just winter.com w-h-y-n-t-e-r.com you should be able to uh, navigate our top search bar to find a product or you can type in the product uh, model number on the search bar pull up the ice cream makers it'll give you a list of the features it'll show you some really great pictures that we have and then from there, you can also download the recipe book, which contains a lot of really great recipes to, you know, get these going for you. Right. So I'm just going to read off a couple of our amazing recipes that we have here. I really want you guys to know the variety that we have available for you guys to try out your new unit as soon as upon arrival. You just open your user manual, you get that recipe, and you get to try these amazing, amazing recipes. So I see a banana ice cream. And for all my avocado lovers, we even have yes. an avocado ice cream. That avocado is so big right now. I don't yes. know about you guys, but I love avocado, like avocado toast, avocado smoothie, putting avocado on everything and a burrito on a, anything on a sandwich. And now with a winter product, you can make yourself at home your very own avocado ice cream. We have an amazing custard ice cream base that you can create with this product as well. A rich vanilla ice cream many your standard ice creams we have a delicious coffee ice cream which is one of mine and Ali's favorite we love coffee we, we drink we coffee a lot we, we may drink it too much just a little bit we might have had three coffees today and our director <laughs> behind the scenes he can stand for it we just all love coffee here at winter we have an amazing coffee ice cream recipe for you yes and then while she's looking up for some more recipes for you guys i'm getting a couple more questions coming in awesome. um Someone asked, one unit makes yogurt. How does that work? Uh, these units, unfortunately, do not make yogurt itself. I did, I think what you may have heard was me say that these can make frozen yogurt. Right. And so what you can do is if you have yogurt that's already made, plus any additional ingredients, that's what you can go ahead and use to make it more of a frozen type of thing. If you're looking for like, you know, a healthier alternative to uh, you know, dairy, or, you know, heavy ice cream. Did you want to mention to them the other ice cream makers that we have here at Winter? Yes, so we also have the ICM 15 LS, which right. is a little bit of an older unit as well. That one is going to be a 1.5 quart unit, which is going to be around, it looks about the same as this one as well. These ones are really going to be our two featured products as well. Right. The um, ones and then that we really love. Yeah, these are the ones that we really love. Um, we encourage you guys to keep sending questions as, the, as you think of them. If we say anything that, you know, makes you think of a question, send it. We encourage it. Test me, stump me. I'm happy to take your questions. Yes. So and this is actually looking like it's almost ready as well. So hopefully we should see that for you guys in just a few minutes. Or right. Be able to serve that in just a few minutes. So we also have some really amazing sorbet recipes. We have a kiwi sorbet one that mm -hmm. me and Ali hope to try soon. That's the one we've been really dying to yes. make. We'll have to show you guys when we make it. Right, right. So we hope to add more recipes onto our site, show you guys really how easy it is to make it here with us at winter. Amazing tons. I, I can't even count how many recipes we have here in our book. I really cannot. Yeah, just even scrolling through them, um, there's a lot of really great things. I mean, there's so many things that you can try. Um, anything that you can really think of that is a frozen type of dessert, You, we, while we are still working on recipes for everything, uh, you can definitely make it with these units. Right, we even have a delicious vanilla ice milk recipe for all my milk lovers. 
That I heard is really good. I haven't tried it yet personally, but I've heard so many good things about it. All right. Awesome. And so this ice cream is looking really, really nice. Yes. That texture is just looking awesome. Here on the timer, it says we have about seven minutes left. Yes. So you guys seen how easy it was to make just over the time period that we've been talking ice cream has been in the process and it's been yeah. making and you can't tell right now but it is almost done it's at a very rich creamy texture right now you can tell it's frozen right it's almost ready to eat it's that real ice cream parlor texture that you the very get. the soft serve it's not yes. the kind so if you go to the grocery store you get it out of the freezer you cut you put your ice cream scoop in you're like digging you it almost in can't. you it's can't you like can't it's so hard and who <laughs> likes to enjoy ice cream like that no, I, know, I, know. I don't like to wait for it to melt yes. i don't want to put it in the microwave that's right. weird i'm all about texture i like my ice cream like ready to eat yeah totally this agree. will give you a perfect soft serve texture i'm really excited for this to be done working and i'm really excited to try this we want you guys to see our faces if we try this amazingness yes so we do have some other frequently asked other uh, frequently asked questions that we're going to try to go through as well still encouraging you guys to uh you know send other questions through us as well it looks like we have more coming through do we have models in other metal finishes as well so not right now. Um, unfortunately, right now, this is going to be the stainless steel is the only finish that we have to offer. But that is something that we are, you know, we have kept in mind and something that we would like to introduce in the future. Uh, we do have, uh, you know, one, a different color one that we are kind of working on. It's about yes. a, like a pink champagne <gasps> kind of color. Uh, hopefully that should be ready for you guys soon. We're really, really excited about it. Hopefully we can maybe demo it for you guys. Um, but that should be coming up soon, hopefully in 2020. It's almost like a rose gold. It's a rose kind. gold, yeah. And if you guys are like me, I'm currently obsessed with I everything, know, everything rose, rose gold. gold. And I can just imagine this ice cream maker in my kitchen, and it's a vibe. It is. It's a rose just gold. Just imagine vibe. like taking a photo for your Instagram feed. Like they're gonna, you're right. gonna get a lot of likes. And you guys can't lie, it's all about the gram. It, yeah, it's all about the gram. So, like I said, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. YouTube, we may be creating a little bit more recipes, a little bit more yeah. videos like that. Let us know in the comments if you guys are watching now. Give us a thumbs up or say great job if you guys think we are doing good and you guys Let would like know. to see more videos of me and Ali creating some really delicious ice cream recipes or many other recipes. If you Absolutely. guys, if there's something specific you guys would like to see us create, just drop it in the comments and we may be able to get that done. Yeah, for let you guys. us know. We're happy to try something out. Whatever you guys want to see, we want to we want to try to make it happen for yes, you. Yes, we would love to. So, so I, what other questions do we get? I seen here and mentioned something about how would they order replacement parts. And for anything regarding the units or parts, we just highly recommend you guys contact Winter Customer Support yeah. Group. Um, they're, they're open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Yes. Ali is one of our customer service reps and she will be glad to answer any questions you had. Yeah, you can call us, uh, email us, come through the live chat. We're happy to help you out. We do have, we can help you, you know, figure out where to get those parts at. We can help, you know, come up with suggestions for you as well. Um, so if you need any help and need any advice, need any tips, need anything at all, don't hesitate to contact our customer support. Would you like me to read the next question that just came in? No. All right. So no. this one is asking, how long does it take to make some ice cream? So like we mentioned before, it really just depends on if you're following the recipe for every measurement or if you were like us and you cut the measurements in half you cut that time in half you really just go based on recipe yeah and like we said like we said earlier the unit has a motor protection function so you shouldn't have to worry did i set it too short did i set it too long uh, if you set it too short just add another few minutes on the cycle if it ends up you know stopping before the timer is through that's not going to harm the machine that's exactly what the motor protection function is designed to do that way you have ice cream ready to be eaten and enjoyed as soon as it's ready right i'm really excited for you yes. guys to see this and try this up we got a comment from an amazon customer and they said yes please post videos of new recipes 
So hopefully Absolutely. that's a project me and Ali get to work on for you guys. Create really fun videos, fun recipes for you guys. Let us know what recipes you want to see. Right. Like any specific ingredients, any specific flavors, any specific type of dessert. Like do you want right. to see a drink? Do you want to see a frozen yogurt? Let us know. We're happy to show you how easy it is to use these. We want to invite you into Winter's Kitchen. We want you to stay in Winter's Kitchen. And we want one of Winter's products in your kitchen. Absolutely. I think they're going to look great in your kitchen. Right. They look great in anyone's kitchen. Right? Let's be real. So let's see what other questions people are asking okay. us. Okay. Somebody said, please make the coffee recipe that you guys are talking <laughs> okay, about. Okay, you don't have to ask us twice. Say we're no we're already sold on that. We'll, Say we'll do that no for you guys. more. All right. Does this machine, someone asked, does this machine truly make two quarts of ice cream? Absolutely. So I feel like 2.1. 2.1. 2.1 quarts. So I like, I'm an ice cream girl myself. I like to go to the store and buy, you know, multiple things of ice cream to stock myself up. Um, so this is great. You don't have to spend, you know, obscene amounts of money. If you like, if you're like me and you like the Ben and Jerry, or you like, you know, a specialty ice cream, whatnot. Um, you can make your own much cheaper at home. You don't have to leave. You can make it, you know, many batches with the ingredients that you buy. I'm gonna steal a strawberry here. Oh, someone also requested coconut everything, pina coladas, absolutely. Oh, we have that recipe. Oh. Okay. As you guys can hear, the unit stopped because that is letting us know that it is oh, done excited. and it is ready. I'm gonna cut these strawberries because we always like to add a little bit of cute garnish. She's gonna get the bowl ready and we're gonna scoop it for you guys now. All right. Do we have our bowls? Yes. I'm so excited to try this. You guys have no idea. Do you have my scoop? Yes. <laughs> okay. So Ali. Look is at how creamy food. and rich uh -huh. this is. This is beautiful. Oh, I'm so Wait, excited. I want to do one. You want to do one? Sorry, Ali. Uh, I feel all my to. fun. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to grab it. I want to see what it's like all the way down here at the bottom. Super, super. Not tough to get out, but that texture. This it makes is some so real easy. ice cream. Okay, Ali, I'll let you do one more, okay? Look at it. It won't even. Oh. Look nice. at that soft serve. So bomb. So let me just scoop another and then we'll get really close so we can show you guys how beautiful this looks. Let me get a little bit more actually. There's so much ice cream in here. There's still plenty to go. All right. If you're like me, you're a little bit messy, but you know what? It I'm gonna add a little bit of garnish. And add some garnish. Go for it. I always have to add the garnish, extra everything. Yes. No, it looks way better that way. You and you guys saw how easy this was. You saw what this we made This was made right with here. four ingredients. Lemon juice. You saw us make cream, this. Strawberry. Look at how beautiful that is. So This rich, bomb. beautiful texture. Can I try some myself? Yes. Only if you let me try some too. Do we have some? Uh, okay. This looks amazing. And look at how pink it is. It's beautiful. I'm going to take a real strawberry to go if you guys are like Same. me. Same. <laughs> So cold. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> it's so good and so cold. <laughs> it's oh the God. perfect consistency too. Like it just, it, it's perfect. I don't even know what I like better now. If I like the daiquiri or the ice cream. I know. I don't know. What do you guys think you guys I'm gonna would like better? I'm going to eat the rest better? of this. You could make your own. Oh, okay then. Well, it looks like Allie's going to finish eating this I'm ice not cream sharing. all on her own. Mm -mm. I'm actually going to pour myself a little bit more of the stackery <laughs> because new year's is on its way absolutely and we gotta have a little bit fun but we thank you guys for joining us here today we highly encourage you to follow mm -hmm. us on all of our social media we have you here our instagram our facebook and our youtube and if you guys would like us to answer any of your questions contact our customer support team mm -hmm. And we just thank you we guys for joining us today. Let us know what you want to see in the future. We'd love any comments, any tips, anything for the future. Uh, let us know what you want to see from us, and we're happy to help out. And we hope you guys have a happy and a safe new year. And yes. thank you for joining us today. Uh, have a great new year. Cheers. Cheers.